So I've got the timing belt on. Um, just wanted to go over that real quick with you. So uh, what you do is turn these to line up with the marks on the cam covers as we covered earlier. Um, and then bolt them down with the bolts I showed you. Make sure they're locked in place. Uh, don't bolt them down too hard, just enough to hold, keep them from spinning. And then you can start putting the belt on. So I start here. I just put the belt on here, put on a clip. That's the easiest one. And then turn this one so that the belt tension is good. And these line up. Do this one. Then go around the water pump. Then keep this side snug. And then these are fairly close to lined up. So just turn them the little bit they need to make sure that these marks line up with the valve covers in the back. Get this one on. Clip it. Go to this one. Do the same thing. Turn the cam just enough to get it to where everything lines up perfectly. Then you're going to run it over the top of this idler pulley. And then you're going to slip it over the crank gear and up around this tensioner pulley. Um, I've seen some pretty wacky stuff on the internet on how to put this stuff together and uh, it's just amazing some of the things people do. Um, this is the right way to do it. So anyway, it should slide right on if you have the two smiley face dots to the left of this bolt. Uh, once you have it on, then you can tighten it up and take the slack out of this. Uh, you don't want to tighten it all the way up, just enough to take the slack out. Um, then you're going to want to spin the motor over uh, the crank a couple revolutions, make sure everything lines up, and then you're going to do the final tensioning, and that means pulling this back over and then tightening this bolt. Um, what I do is I just make sure that this pin stays loose. I never remove it. That's one thing I deviate from the manual. I just leave this in here. I tighten it up. I uh, turn the crank two revolutions, make sure everything's lined up, and I leave the pin in overnight. And that's what I've done. So you notice how that spins freely? That way you know that you have this tension properly. Um, I don't use a torque wrench. It's just too difficult. Uh, the pulley wants to move in both directions when you try to tighten up this nut, I mean this bolt. So in some instances you're pulling it counterclockwise to fight the tension that you're putting on this bolt when you tighten it down. And in other instances, you're moving it clockwise to get proper tension in the bolt. So uh, just make sure that once you get the proper tension in this bolt and this pin moves the way you want it to, uh, that when you tighten this bolt, you don't keep moving everything clockwise and making it tighter than it should be. So uh, it takes a little bit of touchy-feely to get it right, but uh, just keep in mind, as long as this pin's moving freely, you've got the right tension on it, and a torque wrench really isn't necessary. Um, it's just too hard to use a torque wrench in both directions. So anyway, I've left it overnight, and as you see, this pin moves freely. So um, I feel confident that we have the proper tension, and then it's going to stay properly uh, for the rest of the car's operation. So uh, now I can start buttoning things up, but I wanted to show you this and explain how the belt's put on, and um, that should reassure everyone that uh, if this pin is still spinning, then you've got the proper tension on the belt and uh, if you let it sit for 24 hours and it still doesn't change and you're uh, going to be 100 percent sure that you have the proper torque and that everything's going to be copacetic once you get it all buttoned up so um, there you go next time you see it the covers will all be back on this thing will be buttoned up the motor mount will be back in and now it's just a reverse process of putting everything back together uh, you'll notice i didn't do the rocker cover gaskets yet or the spark plugs uh, mainly just to keep everything buttoned up so nothing fell in where it didn't belong. Um, yeah, it's easier to spin the motor over with the plugs out, but I just don't want to risk anything falling into the motor. So I leave them in and just use a little extra oomph to turn the motor over. Just do it slowly. The compression will bleed through the rings, so um, no big deal. Anyway, belt's in, everything's lined up, and we're ready to sealer back up so uh, hope you enjoyed the videos and uh, stay tuned if you like these videos subscribe like and share have a great day